In this video, I'm going to show you the best way to apologize so that you feel better afterwards. It's easy to just want to ignore the problem and hope that it goes away. But if you do that, you'll never be able to move forward. Here's some tips to move forward. Number one, think of the situation that happened. Then think of the person or the people that got hurt. Ask yourself, what went wrong? Then ask yourself, what could I do differently if this were to happen again? The answers to this question are what you're going to apologize for in just a few moments. So how do you apologize? Apologize directly to the people that were hurt by your actions and do your best to make amends with them. Of course, this can be done in person, over the phone, or text message. When apologizing, make sure you don't place blame on the other person. If you place blame on the other person, then they're just going to be on the defense and not going to hear anything you have to say. So just take responsibility for your actions, and if they did something wrong, don't even bring it up. This is about you. Hopefully by apologizing, they might even see what they did wrong and feel inspired to apologize. But if not, that's okay. Have no expectations for them apologizing. Just feel proud of yourself that you apologized, made amends, that you're becoming the best possible version of yourself. Keep in mind that you don't want to apologize for the situation itself because you had no control over that. Instead, you want to apologize for your actions that you could have taken, but you didn't. And moving forward, make it clear that you'll do your best to respond in the best way possible. Now let's take a look at the actual apology. Let's say, for example, you made a joke and it hurt your friend's feelings. Either they got really upset or you could see it by the expression on their face. The apology would start off with something like, I want to apologize for hurting your feelings. Or, I'm sorry for hurting your feelings. And as a side note, you never want to use the word but, because that erases the whole apology. And then after you say I'm sorry for hurting your feelings, you can express how you feel. I, I feel like a jerk. I feel really bad for what I said. Or, I feel like an idiot. Then just reassure the person that you'll do your best to not let this happen again. Just say something like, I'll do my best to not let something like this happen again. I hope you can forgive me. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And subscribe if you want more videos on how to strengthen your mental health.